A raft of changes could be on the way to help WA's struggling FIFO families. Today, a report revealed the worrying impact of remote work as news broke that another Pilbara worker had taken his own life. Fly-in, fly-out worker Reese Connor gave this interview a week before he took his own life. Well, people do struggle up there, like with the depression, and at the moment I'm going through it. He was working three weeks on, one week off at Hope Downs in the Pilbara. And it can get you down sometimes. Yeah, big time, so, yeah, yeah massively. A father of one, he took his own life at 25. As a parent, you always feel that guilt, you know, like that guilt of not... Mm. Um, doing enough. Reese was one of at least nine FIFO workers to commit suicide in a 12-month period. Today, a parliamentary inquiry looking into the problem recommended major changes for WA's 67,000 FIFO workers, including friendlier working hours to stop the so-called divorce roster, four weeks on, one week off, mental health awareness training for workers and their families, support programs, more research into the psychological effects of FIFO and better reporting of suicides and suicide attacks. Attempts. Research shows around 30% of FIFO workers suffer from mental health issues. That's much higher than in the general population where 20% of people are affected. I will acknowledge that FIFO will remain part of the West Australian landscape for many years to come, but I think we've gone overboard with it. The Millers were at Parliament today. I'm very, very happy with a lot of, rec of the recommendations in the report. But for them it comes too late. They want the big miners to acknowledge mental health issues. They believe isolation fed their son's depression. They still need to admit it. Yeah, they, they just need to uh, admit, admit that there, it is a contributing factor. factor. Instead of, instead of instead blatantly of, sitting there blatantly saying it's not happening. Major unions are backing the report. For the blokes that are on those camps and the women that are on those camps, um, ask if people are okay and really mean it and listen. That's the magic word is listening. Michael Genovese, Nine News. And if you're struggling with depression or mental health issues, call Lifeline on 13 11 14.